Hello, beautiful souls. For some people, this could show up, for example, as if you were someone who, as a child, had difficulty expressing themselves emotionally. Maybe you felt that people around you didn't really understand you or care about how you were feeling, and as a result, you may have actually stuffed down your own emotions. Well, it's very likely that as you go on that healing journey of emotional self-reconnection and learn to reconnect with your own emotions, you'll actually be able to better relate to and empathize with others' feelings to a degree that someone who never underwent those experiences would never be able to do. If you felt as though you were denied having a voice when you were younger, it's very likely you are someone who was actually meant to have an incredibly powerful voice. And through that process of remembering, there is immense evolution taking place at a soul level that actually really pushes you into that specific purpose. So it's ironic, I keep hearing cosmic joke. It's almost like a strange cosmic joke that very often where we feel we are struggling the most, where we are the hardest on ourselves, these are actually the areas of our life where we hold the greatest power and the greatest potential. I'm going to start by pulling a Starseed Oracle card. Of course, if you would like to tune your energy more specifically into the reading, it does help if you like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if, while you're listening, anything does resonate, I would love to hear from you in the comments under the video. The comment section is one of my favorite parts of this community that we're co-creating because I feel it provides a very strong sense of mutual support and upliftment and reminds all of us that, as I said earlier in the reading, we are not islands, we are not alone on this journey. We have the card, all paths lead home, inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. Can I get a clarification on this card also from the Starseed Oracle deck? I just saw waterfalls. Maybe that connects with someone in some type of way, but also the symbol of a waterfall is really powerful. I haven't done this in a while, but I really want to look up this waterfall symbol here to actually channel a message from it in real time. So, waterfalls can actually indicate a spiritual enlightenment taking place. They can also represent the flow of life, relinquishing, letting go of things that are not important anymore, the act of purifying, openness, flexibility, and the idea that your power comes from your flexibility your ability to be fluid and open and receptive. Wow, that was actually a very aligned symbol to be channeling in this reading because with this card, I remember as well, in the reverse position, I feel like someone is at a major moment in their destiny, so to speak, here on earth. I feel as though you are experiencing what I personally like to refer to as a soul checkpoint. These checkpoints are moments that we pre-designate as a soul prior to incarnating on Earth. From Divine Muscular, type yes if you believe. My beloved love, these are moments of massive importance and transformation. You could almost think of, prior to incarnating here, you get a sort of like a movie preview of what your life is going to look like in general terms, a general sketch of the potential timeline of your life. Now, of course, once we do become physical here, we enter the veil of amnesia, so we don't actually consciously remember these intentions initially, except in very, very rare cases. And we also have conscious free will, of course, after incarnating. However, these checkpoint moments are moments that we knew would be of massive importance. Therefore, when they happen, we tend to get a very strong sense that something significant is taking place, even if we can't quite put our finger on it. This often becomes most noticeable when we are encountering, for example, a soul connection that is meant to be very influential along our soul path. So sometimes we call this soulmate recognition or twin flame recognition. When we encounter a very intense, pre-designated soul kind of connection in this lifetime, as one of these checkpoints, there will be this massive feeling of, I need to pay attention to this because something important is happening here. And for some reason, I just feel like someone listening here has had one of those moments recently. Now, of course, only you can know what this means for you. I feel that in one form or another, however, this might look physically, 
what is really going on at a deeper level is someone is learning how to fully lean in and trust their intuition completely and entirely, surrender control of something or someone by going through an experience in this life that absolutely seems to make no sense to the conscious human logical mind. So whether this is a soul connection that just doesn't logically make sense on paper, but that you're feeling this pull towards, maybe it's a dream, a vision, something seems to be taking place in your life that your soul knows, but your mind doesn't quite understand. And that is creating again this kind of checkpoint moment where you are being presented with two paths. Are you going to lean in fully, surrender and trust what your heart knows, or are you going to continue making these decisions or trying to make decisions from this more 3D-based perspective now? Even as I said that, it's really not so much a choice here because I feel that you've already chosen. If you've aligned with this video, you've chosen to trust your heart, you've chosen to surrender. I'm hearing you've chosen the path of surrender. But this is very challenging because I do feel that many around you don't understand some of the choices that you're making at this time. This could cause you to question yourself or to feel very alone. Can I get some clarification on this? I'm not sure why this energy is coming up with the Nine of Wands reversed. There is a masculine energy here coming up as the King of Swords reversed as well. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you. 